All you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver, a couple of wire brushes, and I'll recommend applying a little bit of Thermicol grease, some, you know, some the electric silicone compound. You can find this at the local hardware store. So we're gonna proceed and screw the four fasteners that are holding here the, the battery cap. In our case, we have the, the floor rack. If you wanna get yours, you can find yours at thescootabout.com. This thing is pretty, actually pretty useful. We don't see any corrosion. You don't necessarily have to do it if you don't see any corrosion, but we're gonna do it so we, some, we have some nice connection and fresh clean. Once you clean that out, you can apply a little bit of that with the electric silicone. Nice and tight. We gonna make sure these cables is bended like that because if not, it might be a little close to the exhaust or to the cylinder head and it might be... and then you want to tie that cable there pretty nicely so after we have cleaned up our terminal we're going to proceed and check the battery we don't have any tester here or you probably don't have any at home or anything you could probably go to the auto zone or one of those local stores where they can check your battery for you if you want but i'm going to show you here where the multimeter will show you when the battery should be in, you know considered good life this won't tell you anything about the life of the battery at all but it will give you an idea a little bit of how the, the voltage of the battery is so and we're going to proceed and turn this on into dc bolts set it here for you to look at it and we're gonna plug put our terminal here negative with the positive and it shows 12.6 that's pretty good that's a pretty full charge battery or if it shows 12 volt or below that you will have to replace that battery we're good to go and that's it we're ready to go